Final faction action figures. These are surprisingly a Dollar Tree action figure, and there's a cartoon that goes along with it. And for the price of $1.25, as you would get in a Dollar Tree, is it worth it? Is it a quality action figure? I am about to open them up and see how they look. Uh, from visual, right in the packaging, they do look pretty awesome, which is why I was tempted to pick them up. I picked up two of the alien creatures. They have humans in the line you can see on the back. I really like the look of these, these alien monster creatures. So if I like these, perhaps I will pick up some of the humans. And I did check out the cartoon. It's available for free on YouTube. They're like 10 minute episodes. I think there's three of them so far. The animation is pretty decent. It's just computer generated graphics. They've got good voice acting, it's humorous. And in the third episode, there was a Ninja Turtles reference. So you really can't go wrong with that. It has unfortunately been almost a year since the last episode. So I think they might've just stopped with the cartoon altogether, but we still have the toys available. So let's take a look at those. So we've got our, I'm gonna call them red and um, actually, I don't know what this is, a green bluish color. Probably green, because that's what his weapons are. And it comes with a little mask or creature. I think it's a creature. If I remember correctly, in the cartoon, he's got a little bug thing that crawls around on his shoulder. So it looks like the accessories he comes with have a little peg that go on the arm. So you can kind of plop those in. Now he's got some blades. The quality of the plastic is actually a lot better than I was expecting. It's, it's heavy. It's thick. Um, usually with some of these lower lower priced toys, it's a very light plastic. It seems like it would break pretty easily. But this is actually a, a pretty solid plastic. And the detail in the sculpt on them is surprisingly detailed for the price point of these figures. And here's this little, little bug guy. He's got like a little notch in him. I wonder if he's supposed to fit on the character on his shoulder, if there's some peg that I'm missing that he can go on. And now let's look at this guy. He's got like a cool little face on his chest and his armor and or skin and his head sideways. So let's fix that. Oh, just like he's got like a, like a skeleton skull type face, which is just really fun detail. Actually, this kind of reminds me of some of those like high end custom sculptures that you'll get. They kind of have these weird demonic looks to them. So not, not too shabby at all. And you'll notice that he does have the holes on his arms. So you can actually probably pair the accessory with some of the other guys since the red guy did not come with an accessory. You could take them off and you can share some of your weapons. So it seems like this, this toy line was actually thought of in a, either a sharing or a customizing or just playability wise, you can move things around and just looking at the detail of him, it's, it's really good. The only thing I'd say my only probably point that I would ding them on is the paint application is not the, the strongest. A lot of it is the same color and where it is painted, it's it's just little bits here and there. Actually, and I'm surprised the legs, I was expecting to see the same sculpt since they're the same shape, but no, completely different sculpt on those. I wouldn't be surprised if there's people who buy these and then custom paint them, You because the detail's all there. You can make some pretty, pretty great looking uh, custom paintings and give them just a lot more character to them. Now let's see if we can figure out where this little bug guy goes. If he goes on his face or his shoulder. Yeah, I just don't see any anything for, for that. I guess he just crawls around. He's a, he's a buddy. And I just want to pull in some of the other like similarly sized figures. So I have a classic G.I. Joe figure. And then I have the Marvel 375 retro Daredevil figure. So you can see they, they size great. You can have them play with your G.I. Joes and whatnot. Have some monsters going. The plastic is, is a heavier plastic, so they're, the quality's there. And as I was pointing out before from the paint application, just looking at the, the one, two, three, you can tell the paint application on this figure is, you know, it's, it's not the best, but it's also not an expensive figure. So if you buy them to paint yourselves, you really have a great starting point with the high quality, pla or I wouldn't say high quality plastic, the pretty decent quality plastic and the detail on them. So I say definitely worth the price. 
I would pick them up, check them out, hit up your Dollar Tree.